Yeah, this tutorial is all about uh, making business cards. Uh, Corelldraw is really good at making business cards. Uh, so first of all, when you open Corelldraw or make a new file, uh, it is always the page size is always letter size. So that's the default. We just eight and by eleven inches. So what we're gonna do, if you measure the business cards, it's actually three and a half inches by two inches. So what we're going to do, we're going to change this width to 3.5 inches by 2 inches. There. So our objective is to make a business card here. Okay, so we can start doing the tutorial here. Okay, so if you have the the page size right away, which is 3.5 by 2 inches, if you double click on this rectangular tool, it would give you a you know a box which is the size of the page border right so now what we're gonna do is we're going to do this first part here okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click here I'm gonna make a line going this side here okay and what I'm going to do I'm going to my shape tool and click here click on the line and right mouse click and you go to curve and we're going to make a a shape effect here okay okay we'll just make it as close as possible as the original one but if it's not close enough that's fine okay so now we're gonna do the bottom part so you click here and then a plus sign for duplicate without offset and then you can move this and drag this down okay so we have two objects now what I'm gonna do I'm also going to copy this border okay by hitting the plus sign so we have two two right now in there because we're going to uh, uh, make a shaping you know we're gonna make a, a simplify uh, effect here which I'm gonna explain later okay so what we're gonna do is click here okay that's the box and then click on okay I'll just make it I'll zoom in. So you click on the box, okay? That's the box of the three and a half by two inches, and then hold on shift and click on the the line that you just created. And you go to uh, we go to arrange and go to shaping, and you choose simplify. There. Let's zoom out here. So when you choose, click on simplify. Now you can delete the shape here. Need that we don't need that anymore okay so the next one okay so we're gonna do the bottom one so you click the the border <clears throat> and then you click the that line and you go to arrange shaping and then simplify okay so then we can delete this one here <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is we're going to break this apart see so if you know what this see okay so we're gonna break that apart by going to arrange break curve apart so now we can isolate the objects now so we don't need the center one so delete that one so this one okay I'm gonna okay we just go to edit and copy properties from and we go to fill and click OK and this brown here I'm going to remove the outline by going to the outline tool and click on X. Okay, so we go to the bottom part. Okay, uh, you go to edit, copy properties from fill, click OK, and which fill? This one. And I'm going to remove the outline. Okay, so we're doing really good here. So now this one, if you notice this, you've got a like a shadow, but it's blue. So the effect there is you, uh, the style there is you, uh, okay, in your in your keyboard, click on the plus bottom for duplicate without offset, and then move it, like expand it a little bit, this one, by using this. And then since it's blue, so we go to edit, and then copy properties from fill, click OK, and I'll click on this one okay now the brown disappeared because it's behind so you go to arrange order to back of page 
There you go. Same thing with this one. Plus sign your keyboard. Okay. And then you make and put it up like that. Okay. And then edit. Same thing that we've done to the first one. And then click OK. Fill would be this one. And then you go to arrange order to back of page. There you go. And we'll just make this smaller a little bit. Okay. 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 And I'm going to explain with the other effects because we're kind of limited in time here. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this part here because it says here music. Okay. So, okay. So I'll make that bold. Uh, okay. I'm pushing it down. And I'll make that white. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Okay, so you go to effects and then go to add perspective. So when you click on add perspective, and you can, yeah, make perspectives. See this one, eh? You click on that node and move it down. And you can also move this up here like that. Okay, now that one's done. Okay, it's a little bit different, but that's fine. Now, <coughs> And now I'm just going to copy this one because you know how to do this already, right? And then and then this one, same thing, okay? Just type in it, make it black, and then for this one, you notice I put a white outline, okay? Just to make sure that you know the name would be seen. So I, so when you click on that one, okay, actually. When I type in, there's no outline. So if you want to put outline, you go to your outline tool and the first one. Okay. And then you go to, I'll try two, white. This one is important. Make it, it has to be behind fill and scale with images. Okay. Because if you don't do that, the outline would go inside. Okay. Okay, I'll enlarge it a little bit. Okay. Now, this one, I'm just going to copy that one. Okay, so, and I'll just explain, you know, I this is just a clip art. And what I do here is, I did in my, my, one of my tutorials, this one is fitting text to path here. So made a circle, so that's the path, and then I type in DMC Enterprise, and I put it in there. Okay, so, uh, so that's pretty much it, right? So I can delete this now. And then I can group this one. Control G to group. Okay. Now, if I'm kind of, uh, I don't have a big budget for creating a business card, so I'm gonna print it in a cardstock paper in my own printer. So, so we can do that here. So instead of custom here in the page, you can go back to letter size. Okay. So this is my letter size paper, and I'm gonna print it in cardstock. Okay. So this is grouped together already. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tile it. Okay, I get tile five here and then five down. Okay, so now when I click here, and I know it's three point five is the width, right? So in here, in your nudge, okay, nudge offset, okay, type in three here for three inches. Sorry, not three inches, three point five. Okay, so three point five in the nudge. Okay, so it means to say when I copy this one with my plus sign, right? No offset, and then in the keyboard you have the right arrow going to the right side. So you click on that, and it makes it jump three inches to three and a half inches to the right. So that's how you do it. Now, now let's do the other one. So you know it, our height is two inches. So you change the nudge to two inches, okay? And then you select this one and plus sign, then arrow down. Plus sign, arrow down, plus sign, arrow down, plus sign, arrow down. And there you go. So you can print that in your colored printer. It's already tiled without the offset. So you got a guide there for cutting.